Hello you gorgeous people, how are you today? Gorgeous? Absolutely. Today I'm talking about starvation. I'm talking about starvation. I'm talking about the worst news that you could possibly hear. I'm talking about bad news. I'm not really. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So I don't know how you feel, but I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm sick of hearing about food shortages. I'm tired of hearing bad news. I'm tired of listening to the same old shit over and over and over again. For two years, for two years, I've heard over and over again Food shortages just around the corner. Fuel shortages just around the corner. Everything shortages just around the corner. Okay? And, you know, listen, I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. We, a long time ago, we got ourselves some stocks of stuff that lasts for a long time, like dry pasta and rice and lentils and stuff like that. And we've got stuff and oil. Yeah, we've got cooking oil and stuff like that. We've got loads of stuff there. Enough to, well, probably to last us a couple of weeks. And we did that a long time ago. In fact, we probably had to throw stuff out because it ran out of date. Um, and we still haven't starved. Right, so what am I driving at? What I'm driving at is this. Do you think it's any accident that we are constantly bombarded with up and coming? up and coming shit it's not here yet not yet but it's coming okay and yet we've got to be intelligent about it you know and don't don't dismiss everything go no 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 you know take some measures take some measures however once your measures are in place don't then continue to allow them to do what they're doing. See, I don't know. This is my view, right? This is my view on starvation. 95% of every person on this earth has around about seven to 10 days worth of food in the house, right? Some people have got more, but most people live, do the shopping weekly, okay? And so they have about 10 days, probably stretching it a couple of weeks, you know, if you eat everything. So if the world, if a country didn't have any food, didn't have access to food, how long do you think it would be before um, it would a rebellion would start? How long do you think it would be before people took to the streets if they didn't have any food? It would be a very short space of time. And then it would be chaotic. Then chaos would ensue. Right Now, they don't want that. The baddies don't want an out of hand situation. They want everything controlled. They want the people subdued, right? It's very important they want subdued people. They do not want angry uh, people taken to the streets. If they do get angry people taken to the streets, they've organized it, they've paid for it, they've equipped it, they have hired the vans to take them they've paid all of the actors okay so that's the, the, they have controlled chaos right they don't want random chaos because what happens when you get random chaos is that and they've been trying it out like you see it in Sri Lanka where the people just go up to the government buildings and throw all the cars in the river and start doing all kinds of really, really, really violent things. Why? Because when people are hungry, they will do anything. And when people have got families to feed, they'll do anything. So my point is that it isn't starvation that they want. They don't want people to starve because that would make them dangerous and wild cards and good God only knows what would happen. No, what they want is people to be scared of starving. That's what they want. And especially us. 
because remember we are the targets and I know I've said this before but we are the targets because we are the ones who can change and create the people who are asleep can't change and create because they have no creative ability yeah they have no god source we do so if they can keep us scared if they can keep us waiting for the next big event then they've got us because we're in a, in a holding pattern when you're waiting you're in a holding pattern you don't want to do anything this is this is i've seen this over and over again you know i'll do that but when i've got something coming up i'll i'll wait till that's done because my mind's all preoccupied with that okay so what happens is this picture yourself and this is what i was talking to the emissaries about this and this is what they were telling me and this is what they showed me you're in Acapulco, okay? You're in Acapulco, you're on the cliff edge. You've never done this before. And you're waiting for the, the wave because you have to wait for the wave tide to come up because if you jump when the tide's down, you smash your head open. So you've got to wait for the tide to come up like that and then you jump in, Bob's your uncle, okay? You dive in. The waiting is the terrifying part the waiting i don't know if you've ever stood on the top diving board waiting to jump in that is where it's really scary that's where you're shitting yourself when you're waiting to jump you're going shall i shan't i oh my god i'm gonna have to jump i'm gonna have to jump and i've seen people go up there and then walk back down again who can't do it i think i may have done that at some point so that is where they want us the wonders on the edge of the diving board looking down at the precipice and thinking oh my god i'm gonna have to jump i'm gonna have to jump i'm so scared i'm so scared okay you're paralyzed you go into freeze you know the the fight flight freeze that's where the wonders the wonders in frozen okay not the musical and so that's why they keep doing this if you've noticed if you notice i've honestly how many times have we seen this we saw it recently the european union no the who is going to get everyone to sign a treaty and then they're going to hand over sovereignty to the who and everything oh my god in a couple of weeks in a couple of weeks in a couple of weeks and then what happened it was thrown out and everyone went Phew. didn't matter because the very next day in a couple of weeks in a couple of weeks okay i saw somebody posted and i'm sure they posted it with the best of intentions on our peaceful rebellion site yeah on our telegram group a big long post the uk government in 2 weeks i'm so sick of hearing this in 2 weeks yeah in 2 weeks are going to bring back the masks and mandate the masks everywhere and this is not necessary and we need to stand up but in 2 weeks they're going to do it and we've got no reason to believe that this isn't true it's coming from our best sources another 2 weeks we've got to wait right we won't put the mask on but we've got to wait 2 weeks and it's will it happen will they do it will it happen will they do it will it happen will they do it oh my god okay this is what they are doing this is what they are working to constantly if you notice that the the don't want it to happen why do they not want it to happen they only want it to be due to happen why because when you're on the diving board and you say fuck it i can't stand this anymore i'm going and you jump once you jump it's done there is no fear anymore because your body takes over and it gives you the adrenaline and you deal with it and then you land and you go for that was all right and then you feel great all right so the actual flying through the air and then getting there and then feeling great they don't want us to get there no 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 never jump just be waiting to jump be waiting to jump it's you know in in terms religious terms that's purgatory that's the purgatory it's not hell If you're in hell and you're burning up, well, you're in hell and you're burning up. What can you do about it? It's waiting to go. Yeah. It's waiting to jump. 
It's waiting for the, the wave to rise high enough so that you can jump in. That's where the wonders. Please, I want you to take care of yourself. I want you to protect yourself from this. Do not think that the Truth Network is free and it won't be doing anything to make you feel fearful. They've infiltrated the Truth Network so much. They give us, I mean, they, they, you know, we are their best assistants. They feed us the information and we disperse the information. Right? This is how it's always been. They give us the information and we share it out. It's come to our knowledge. Intel. Intel. Now, I'm not saying that there's no good intel. And I'm not saying that the, that the people in the truth movement are, are bad. I'm not saying that at all. No, no, no. I've shared stuff that, that in retrospect, was a load of shit. Okay? They're going to mandate. They're going to mandate. They're going to mandate. Then they're not. Then it's not. Okay? So, everything is about a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Up and coming. The problem is that in the truth movement, we are suffering the same. We are suffering the same. At the beginning, I was very much into all of the the stuff and you know the what was coming up and the letter seventeen. It was very interesting. Uh, and we used to hear, oh, in a couple of weeks, oh, in a month, oh, in September, yeah, you know, it's going to be a hot month and crazy July, and uh, and they're still doing it. They're still doing it. They're still saying, I just listened to somebody, a very, very high level speaker, who was saying, because you watch in a cup in two weeks, it's going to be. I thought, are we still on the fucking two weeks? Are we still talking about in two weeks? Does it mean that it's not going to happen? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But you know what? We've got to stop living in the future. We've got to move out because what they're doing, if you're living in the future, there is no connection because the future doesn't exist. And all that you're doing is living in either fear of it not happening or fear of it happening. That's all. That's all that you've got. Two options. But you're, they're saying in two weeks, do you think it'll really happen? Well, shall we have a look back over the last two years? Has it happened at all? No, it hasn't. No, it fucking hasn't. All right. But it might happen in two weeks. Okay. It's just, it's just not the place that we need to be. We need to be right here, right now, living our life, creating as much as we possibly can. And literally, I mean physically creating, mentally creating, creating, unifying, making ourselves happy and creating our future. That's where we need to be. You cannot create in the future. I think the emissary said that just recently. The only place you can create is in the present, in the now. That's where we need to be. So, when you hear in two weeks or what, two months or whatever, they like the number two as well. It, um, just say, oh, just fuck off. Or will you just shut shut the fuck up? I'm going to live my life. If that happens, trust me, whatever's going to happen has nothing to do with us. We are creating the future. We are creating the future. All of those bits and pieces, they're happening because they're happening, right? Everything's happening because we are creating it. But we're not, we don't have to go in there and create it, if that makes sense. We have to create the future. We have to create it from here, right from now. And then all the rest of the stuff just, it's like a domino effect. It'll all just happen. We don't need to be waiting on it. Oh, has it happened? Has it happened? Has it happened? Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. We don't need it. All right. So there you are. That's my take on it. I don't know what you think. I don't know whether that resonates with you, but I just think that we need to just, you know, step back, take a deep breath, yeah? And ignore all of that because we've had it for too long. And, it, and it's, you know, it'll happen when it happens and it will happen, trust me. Everything that they say is going to happen, is going to happen, but it's going to happen in its own time and it's going to happen because we are creating it, Okay. Not because they're telling us that some group of wonderful people are going to do it. No, we are creating it. Will our creation make that group of wonderful people do it? Maybe, maybe. But we are the ones who are doing it. 
Don't let them take away your power. Don't let them take away your sovereignty, your ability to know that you are the one that's doing it. We are the ones. Okay? Have a beautiful week and I'll see you all on Friday. Bye-bye.